Jackson, founder of the Rainbow Push Coalition, Coalition, paid a recent visit to Minneapolis. And Reverend Jackson joins us now live by phone. Thanks for being with us. Uh, the wheels of justice turned relatively quickly in this case. Uh, what's your reaction to the charges against this one officer? I'm glad the government's taken over, but before people were involved, four people, the killer and three witnesses, all four of them should face the same face the same accountability. What was your conversation like with the governor today and the folks in Minneapolis? Well, I told him that as long as the killers are walking free, people cannot stop walking. They cannot stop fighting back. So you kill somebody, you know, you're fired, you're, you're, you're arrested, and you're charged. This is a history of us being brutalized and killed. I mean, you look at the pattern. Trayvon Martin gets killed, the killer walks free. The other gets killed in New York, the killer walks free. Uh, Auburn and, and uh, Brother Georgia. There's a history of killing in, in those countries. I mean, there's a, there's a, there's a terrorist killing, there's a terrorist. Reverend Jackson, I want to ask you a question I asked former police superintendent Gary McCarthy just a moment ago, and that is, do you think uh, these incidents are happening more often, or are we just seeing them more often now because everybody has a camera? I think the, the environment lends itself now to more guns and more violence. I'm not sure if it's more or not. When you have people walking in the state capital in Michigan with AK-47s, Brandishing guns. That, that, that's, 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 that's the awful thing. Same thing happened in Texas. So we, we, we're making guns more accessible and, and life is more dangerous for everybody. Reverend, I know you, you're always and always have been a hopeful person. But this incident, do you think this is going to change things? Police reform? I mean, moving forward, are things going to change? Really, I don't know. I, I, they have a good governor and a good mayor, and Mayor Frey, there in uh, Minneapolis. There's the, the health gap, the education gap, requires investment, requires development. There's not enough to have a, a, a riot, anti-riot band-aid. People really need to, a, 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 an economic plan for you, even plan for you. But Reverend, as you know, some people take advantage of these situations and things do go too far, as we're seeing with rioting, the, the damage to businesses, the fires there. Uh, what is your message to demonstrators who are on the ground, be they in Minneapolis, Chicago, or elsewhere? One, please don't set the shock. And don't, don't go from cold, full, cold blue, the police, and forget about COVID-19, the virus. Many young people marched yesterday. They had no mask on and no distancing. And they'll pay a price for that in the coming days if this thing continues to strike. I hope they will be disciplined and then they're outraged. But be outraged. Be disciplined and fight back. All right, Reverend Jesse Jackson, thank you so much.